Good evening. This is Michael from Estonia. And I am going to present to you the technology that has come here to stay, the technology that is so powerful and so developed that it's uh, impossible to hold it back from uh, further developments and, and uh, basically, um, well, how to say this, this uh, technology seen before about its uh, qualities and, and uh, there are so many um, great sides of this uh, Skyway that, that will change the world. But uh, all of this I will tell you in the presentation today. So I myself have been a Skyway investor and uh, well promoter for more than three years by now. And this has been a great path uh, together with Skyway and together with my team and together with all the members and investors and uh, well, the board members and investors all around the world because uh, well, the support that people are giving to this project that is so huge and, and the work that is going on behind the curtains that is uh, so enormous that uh, we are all waiting, waiting and waiting to see um, when will the first commercial projects will start and then, uh, then when the first profits will uh, come to the company also the investors will receive the dividends, um, uh, long-weighted dividends but of course, we have to understand that uh, even with Apple or, or Alibaba, it took years and years before it uh, got so developed that it went to, for example, on a stock market and people got the chance, the first investors got the chance to sell or, or buy even more stocks. So let's continue. I will show you a brief pictures um, about, uh, about what has been done in United Arab Emirates in Sarja and this is the innovation center there and as you can see the first line is already built this is 400 meter line there will be three more lines which are uh, two and a half kilometers long and you can see one of them behind the uh, first line which is in front of the picture but behind the picture you can see the supports already placed and that one is for the heavy loads for, for cargo and for, uh, for uh, transporting more than 100 people at a time. Structures and supports as well. But more picture from, from a different angle. As you can see, it's very beautiful. And, and of course, it's very hard to construct and to build it into the sand. And that makes it much more expensive than in uh, Belarus, where is the uh, innovation center and demonstration center. Basically, that one, well, I have been myself in both of these uh, test parks. And the first one the, in Belarus near Marina Korka, that there, there are already uh, seven lines. Um, mm, constructed and built and there are many different models uh, driving uh, all day um, in many many on many routes them and to certify and of course many models are already certified as well by belarus and russian standards and now in united arab emirates in such the development and and the certification process is under development at the moment so soon when it will be totally fully um, certified then all the tropical climate countries have the chance to order this and then to implement this in their countries which is awesome and of course this picture describes the first ever wooden house uh, that has been built in united arab emirates so you heard me right no no company or nobody has ever built a wooden house there at least officially uh, but this is approved by the government and shows how great relationships uh, skyway and its outer 
and uh, general engineer um, Dr. Anatoly Nitsky has. And uh, one more picture from another angle. And this is really awesome. So basically this house is meant to do everything by itself. Mm, the electricity, water, heat or cool, all those technologies should, it should maintain by itself autonomously. And this is also one product. And this is the tropical uh, unicar in Saja driving there. So you can see how beautiful it is. And, uh, and of course, there are already many, many uh, government members who are um, well waiting for this technology to, to start serving people and as well taking cargo and uh, goods from uh, one point to another. And talking about cargo, here you can see on this picture, this is the sea container transportation system. This is the, well, the smaller container um, which uh, this line is capable to carry. And when the uh, another two and a half kilometer line is built, then there will be the big 40 meter long, 40 foot long, sorry, um, sea containers. But all right, let's continue now uh, with a main presentation. First, we go look at the brief history and I will show you some of the technologies that are already made by people, by human. And, and uh, I will tell you a bit about all of them. But uh, first of all, about 80 to 100 years ago, a visionary and artist pictured a future, as you can see on this picture. And he is quite right, because uh, as you might, well, if you have been traveling around the world or you have seen pictures or you have seen videos, I recommend you to do so. Uh, then uh, in most of the bigger cities, they are very well uh, already constructed and built and maintained the first level infrastructure. There are buses, there are trams, there are cars, taxis. Now the self-driving uh, mobiles, um, I mean cars or, or buses are coming, or also scooters, bike roads and so on. Also most of the bigger cities have the underground transportation systems such as uh, mm, uh, metros or subways, but the problems on the still grow and mainly because the urbanization is very active at the moment. People are coming from uh, from well villages and then from out, outer outer city. They're coming to the to live inside the city where is the work mostly or, or the suburb suburban areas also develop very fastly. So the growth is enormous, but the problem is that, well, more deeper we go inside the city, inside the city centers, then there is basically no room or no space left to construct new roads. And then we just cannot tear down the houses uh, next to the roads and, and say that, okay, now we take down your uh, apartment there, apartment story, and, and we will construct a new road there it's just impossible so that's the reason why we need new solutions and the only way the only logical way where to go is up on the second level and people have tried it uh, before and successfully tried it as well but there are many problems with with uh, current technologies mostly they are very expensive they are very heavy, the, their construction is looks so massive, it's basically impossible to construct it very smoothly or so that people will say, oh, it's so beautiful. But the, mostly they say it's quite ugly, but what can we do? And then, of course, they're not that fast as they should. And, and many of them use still fossil fuels. But this one on the picture, this is the monorail. For example, in United Arab Emirates, about 10 years ago, they built a five kilometer road for, for monorail and one kilometer cost approximately 70, 70, 70 million US dollars. And that was about 10 years ago. The prices have gone up, of course, as you might understand, inflation and so on it works its way. And, and then in Germany, this technology is presented also about 20 years ago they already managed to construct it but as you can see the supports behind the model there 
which the supports which hold the track structure above they have to be located very very uh, well closely to each other so it means about in every 15 20 meters there have to be a support again it's quite impossible to to construct it everywhere and it doesn't look very very nice as well then in china there is a technology which is basically tramway tramway but upside down and and yes that's about it and then of course thousand the first glimpse of it or the first test tracks are found that uh, were done in about a thousand years ago but then they used ropes and stones and wood now it's of course metal and then it's a little bit more developed but the main uh, point uh, here uh, on both uh, all of these slides is that um, the engine or, or well basically the model the capsule or, or the um, well the machine itself where people sit they uh, those do not move themselves but the chain or the rope uh, that one moves and as you can see on the right side picture the orange wheel wheel shaped uh, engine that turns around and then it pulls the chain mm, the string and then the the capsules or the models but the models themselves do not move on 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 the on the track structure then of course we have the underground transportation as i mentioned before well, in Russia, for example, the subways look very beautiful, but of course, it's very expensive to construct it. For example, under Second Avenue in in New York, they recently built a new um, a new track or for, for subway, which means that uh, well, what I want to say is that the one kilometer cost more than one billion with a B billion US dollars so it's it's very expensive to do those but all right now welcome you to the new age to the 21st century this is kind of what you can see on this uh, picture right now as you can and as you can understand it's very beautiful it suits awesomely uh, together with uh, climate there not, not only with the temperature and climate I mean but um, surroundings as well and let's see why Skyway, why is it here to stay? I will point out uh, seven main points, what I have found. And then um, in the end of the presentation, I will tell you a little bit about the uh, new news as well. So you can be, uh, well, uh, on the line or uh, at the time with, with, uh, with the most, most exciting times and news. First point is the Skyway is innovative, which, hmm, which is uh, possible to see on the picture already. If you compare it with all the other previous pictures I showed you before, then uh, then Skywell looks very beautiful. And this design is made especially for United Arab Emirates. And I have seen it myself as well. And hopefully, well, if there is any chance, any one of you goes to United Arab Emirates. Sacha then well if you go there i recommend you to go uh, to go to sacha and see all of this beautiful technology by yourself as well and then hmm, this picture is made in belarus in eco techno park which is the first innovation and certification center in the world for for skyway technology and here you can see this track structure is the heavy one and basically if you compare it with trams or or, or uh, railways then railway uh, that sorry the train or the tram can only go one way at the time but here with skyway if we uh, lift the track structure to the second level we can use both sides the upper side and uh, the downside as well so we can go the two directions uh, at the same time 
which makes it um, more time effort uh, and then and, and uh, many other well the speed and all those aspects then the technology which makes it innovative and which is patented by Dr. Anatolianiski and Skyway is the free stress string railway basically the rail structure itself the metal rail rails uh, inside there are pre-stress strings which and it's filled again with uh, a special filler and we can take all different kind of cables uh, communication uh, cables electricity internet and so on through the structure structure itself so basically in africa for example where th there are many villages where they do not still have electricity we can take electricity to them via the Mm, via the track structure itself so this is also great and of course we can use solar panels wind turbines mm, which are also under development and then the, the, it's uh, most likely that they will implement this to the to the track structure so all the electricity which is necessary for the sky for skyway model to move Mm, that the electricity can be produced by track itself. Now, the second point is that Skyway is ecological. And as the picture says, more than a thousand words is a saying. I believe we can all witness right now on this picture that it suits very well to the nature as well. Because it's so sharp, it's so neat, it's a slim track structure. It's not a heavy, massive construction. Uh, like the previous one I showed you before, and that makes it special as well. Of course, ecological, uh, when we're talking about... We cannot left out mentioning that uh, producing CO2 is a old world now, and uh, the new world is moving more and more toward uh, CO3. Uh, technologies and then products and therefore this is what you can see on the picture this uh, has to be left behind and then the new one electricity well the engines so or, yes mm. so the engines which uh, the, the inner burning engines which use um, fuel for example about in I believe in 10 years 20 years it's not they won't, won't pr produce them anymore. So this is also one uh, way where the world is going. Then another aspect is about the wind turbulence. And Skyway has the shape of the body so um, perfectly designed that it's capable to cut the wind uh, very, very well, much better than, for example, cars. And therefore, the wind turbulence... Uh, mm, the wind mm, and, and the other aspect is the screen effect so basically when 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 the skyway cuts the or, or the car cuts the wind then where the car is that there is a asphalt beneath the car and then the wind can well uh, the asphalt or the road makes impact to the wind and makes it uh, the higher but uh, with skyway there are rails above the above the ground and the wind can go very well beneath the beneath the models and therefore the coefficient is much much lower mm -hmm. all right of course there are many first level issues that, that are very costly to maintain and all this is not necessary with the Skyway technology. All right, now I will put that up the second side of the presentation and we'll continue. With these pictures, I want to say uh, more than one word. I would like to describe these because these are very important to understand. On the left side, so basically when we construct new railways um, or, or, well, mostly whatever, uh, um, even the roads and the, the normal car roads for cars so meant that are meant for cars then we need to dig about seven meters beneath the ground and fill it with special fillers 
to so so the road can hold and maintain its uh, well shape on, on the ground, and therefore it's it's when we think about building, for example, five kilo, five hundred kilometers uh, rail, new railways, then we have to dig some um, well the material for filling seven years uh, all through all the road. And on the right side, so in mountain areas, they have to explode the roads again uh, through, the, through the mountains, through the rocks. But with Skyway, we can take it from point A to point B. Very simply, one support can be longer or tall, yes, longer than, than the other one. And then therefore we can play with the heights, uh, different heights and then different well, uh, different shapes of, of the ground. So the the water is not the problem for us. We can go to over the rivers, lakes, even seas and the oceans. And then uh, that makes also Skyway very flexible. As you can see on this picture as well. All right, third point. Third point is about safety. And many of people, many people have asked me, so is it safe to drive there up high? And then what if something happens? And I ask, what should happen? When if, if I don't know, if, if it stops there or, or maybe it falls apart? No, it's impossible for it. Uh, to fall apart because the construction that holds it there is uh, so strong that even if we lift or uh, switch sides, we put it up down the models, uh, the unibuses or unibikes, then it still holds it very strongly. So there is no way that it will fall off from, from the line or from the track structure. And it's mostly because of this derailment system and this motor wheel that, uh, that drives it. Then uh, we have all this uh, super intelligence, um, artificial intelligence systems. The, the third eye basically, which monitors 360 degrees around uh, unibuses, unibikes, unicars inside as well. So even if, if we need to cross the borders, then there can be the passport controls and so on can be done automatically which is very smoothly and, and makes it much uh, safer. And if something really happens on the line, so basically one, one model just stops there, then there are another similar or exactly the same model and they both have these elements in front uh, of the models and in the, in the back side. And so they will, well, Percent and they can either pull or or push the broken one to the maintenance or to the near nearest stop. And all right, and if even this doesn't work and we still have this problem, there are no other other unibuses that can come and pull or lift us. Then we have is like helicopters have a special ropes or, or the rope system. Which uh, which we pull around the waist and then around the shoulders and that can take us to the ground. So they have thought about everything, and it's much safer than on this picture, right? What you can see now. <laughs> and this is the normal way today how people try in tropical climates. Then the fourth point is that we have real models and products, as I mentioned before. Many of them are certified already. And uh, well, this is really important that we are not so showing um, people pictures from the pressures or, uh, or, but but we really have these products. And I myself have driven with um, Unibus, for example, on this picture uh, above and right side. Then with Unibike as well, I have, I've got the chance to ride and then sit inside. And I've seen Univin driving in. Uh, uh, in Belarus, in Innovation Center, Unicar as well. I had chance to drive about uh, about 15 meters above the ground. 
and I've seen high speed unibus myself driving on, on a one kilometer track structure. So this is all really, really great. And the speeds are enormous. So if you if you compare it with the normal transportation system and uh, and it, well, how, how about the safety as well? The speed is great, and it's it's not uh, uh, well. It it doesn't make it more dangerous because we are located on the second level, and there are no um, well traffic uh, accidents there. We cannot uh, well break into another car or, or drive into another vehicle or people who are on on the first level because we are above them and we and it's just impossible and therefore there are basically no traffic accidents with skyway which makes it also safety and then um, Ah, oh, here you can see, yes, the tropical, which you have already seen. And then um, the cargo transportation system, this is really great. And this is what worlds waits. And this will be revolutionary because uh, at the moment, for example, the speeds for transporting well, with the truck drivers and the trucks, which take uh, C containers from point A to point B, the average speed is about 20 to 30 kilometers per hour. Well, and with Skyway, we can uh, take it up to 70 to 100 kilometers per hour, and we can try. So, uh, beneath the track structure, and this is really great. All right, the fifth point is that we have it uh, for, uh, for Skyway everywhere. So we started from Belarus, we have made our way to United Arab Emirates. We know that the certification process uh, started in Europe as well uh, in the end of the last year. And then many countries, for example, like Vietnam, Russia mm, and uh, countries as well as Europe and then the um, east side of the world, they all are very interested in, uh, in Skyward technology and well, there is only time between us, uh, between the point where we really have the track world being built. The sixth uh, point is that we have a strong and professional team. We have more than 600 workers today, working constantly every day for Skyway to make the dream impossible. And then we have many departments and design bureaus and we have our own manufacturing. Uh, we have uh, many other facilities around the world. Well, mostly in Belarus and United Arab Emirates. But uh, workers are, uh, the work is going on globally. The point is two sides, two main sides. One is the customer who will order the um, transportation system to be built to be being built and then for example governments or or, or private companies and why they should do that is that this, the cost of skyway is very very cheap comparing to for example monorail or maglev or hyperloop and and even with the subways of course and therefore i believe there is no chance that uh, uh, Skyway is not being well. Will be will left will be left out the world, so to say, at the second level. And because there is no other technology as well that are uh, yeah, better than Skyway, and and that second level. So therefore, it's it's a really great chance. But all right, now we have come almost in the end. We have some news to cover as well. And the first news is that uh, some months ago, already the f f well the address project, uh, one ad address project was announced in United Arab Emirates, and that should be uh, located in in a city called Korfakan, and it's about ten kilometers long and, and meant for people, and that is really great news. And as Anatoly Nitsky himself also said that that probably this year. Uh, one contract will be fully signed for a commission project and there are many more waiting but of course we have to still remember and understand that the technology is still under development and there is still a lot of work to do 
but much work has been done. All right, and then we had, again about a month ago we were on a French television, and they covered the news about the first the demonstration of of this second level container transport. This is really great. Well, I, I believe uh, if if I'm not wrong, then in each month we are in in some televisions or on news channels uh, covered in some television or news channels. So Skyway is quite popular, but mo most people do not know it's possible to invest in the project um, as a well, private investor and, and uh, benefit later on from all the projects which are going to be built in the world and, with, and which will make profit to the company. Then, as you might know, the expo in Dubai, which is a really big event, global event, uh, was prolonged or um, skipped for one year and this will take part this year. And uh, it takes place from 1st October this year up to 31 March uh, next year. And the authors of the material of Skyway note that the Technology Testing and Certification Center of USD, uh, UNESCO String Technology, is located near Dubai in Sarge, so prospective customers will be able to combine the exhibition program with a trip to Sarge to see the implement, implement, implementation of the string transport in practice. And then it's it's really, really great news. So, and Nadezh Tagozero, who is the CEO of UNESCO String Technologies, also commented on the prospects for participation in the upcoming exhibition. And she said that uh, they are actively exploring the MENA region, where there is high demand for our, uh, for, well, our innovative technology, and participating in such large international exhibition and having their own operating transport complex in the United Arab Emirates where, where they can showcase their achievements will undoubtedly strengthen their global success. And again, their global success is our global success as well. Then another big news uh, was covered on the national um, news channel. And uh, this, this was uh, covered on 6th of June on the site of the English language newspaper The National, published in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. And, uh, the, well, and the headline was First Look at Sarge's High Speed Electric Elevated Transport. And the publication is based on the recent visit by journalists to the USD t Testing and Certification Center in Sarge and the Autos of Project and plans for the development in the United Arab Emirates. In particular, the journalist mentioned that the two and a half kilometer heavy test track would be fully ready in October that year to show the string transport at the speed of 140 kilometers per hour. As a reminder, the Expo 2020 International Exhibition in Dubai, where Skyway is scheduled to take part, begins in October as well. And the representative of the USD Center in Sarcha uh, has also told the reporters that the construction of the track of the first Skyway targeted project, which will be launched by September 2023, is to begin very soon. So, congratulations to all of us. And which track exactly is being talked about is not mentioned in the article. It could be referring to the 130 kilometer freight track between Sarcha and Korfakan design for which has been under consideration by the Saudi administration for the past few months. And besides, in the material, they were shown a video of the Tropical Unigas ride with passengers, and uh, they remind that they had previously reported USD's commencing operation of the 400 meter test section to check its performance under near real world conditions. So this is a really, really great news for us guys. All right, and now more, a conclusion of, of the news development. And from 7 to 8 June, the English language edition of Coolf News, Cali Times and Time Out released publications about the current achievements of Unitsky String Technologies. In such and the company's development plans in United Arab Emirates, and they are sharing the highlights from these materials. 
uh, I will comment just well again the journalists point out that now in charge there is a 400 meter operating test line on which the passenger transport is already running at the speed of 50 kilometers per hour two more two and half uh, two and four uh, 2.4 kilometer tracks are also under construction according to representative of the USD center in such that the first of these tracks will be ready by the opening of the expo in October this year and the second one by May 2022. Hussein Al-Mahmoudi, CEO of SRT Park, uh, which is the um, innovation center there, also, uh, also shared, the owner of the innovation center, so basically, uh, also shared his views on the prospects for string transport implementation. And he said, we are considering Khan and we are also working on operation in the city center. We hope to commercialize the technology and make it one of the most successful in the region. So again, only great news from from United Arab Emirates. But with this great news, I will end our, uh, well, that you see right now, that the Dalai Lama gave his years ago to Unitsky, and he said that, uh, by Anatoly Unitsky's words, uh, Dalai Lama said that it will not be very um, easy for you, this, uh, this mission that you have uh, chosen, but eventually you will be successful. So great words from, from his Holy Spirit as well. But all right, with me, uh, you're, it's chance to meet again in about uh, two years, uh, sorry, two years, two, uh, two weeks, and 6th of July, the same time, 7 p.m. Moscow time. So check your uh, check your um, local time and compare it, and you will see what time it is in your country. Uh, so 6th of July, we will talk again about the technology and tell you about the latest news. And hopefully, 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 we will all get the chance to go to United Arab Emirates uh, during the expo to see the technology with our own eyes. Let's hope that Skyway team will arrange this um, event for us and we can all go there together to meet face to face and talk uh, and share the emotions so all right everybody thank you for listening thank you very much for your attention and i am michael from estonia and i'm very glad to be here and to tell you all this great news so goodbye everybody and